Hey guys, wanted to talk to you about arrogance. It's very dangerous and we don't need it anywhere. It's not going to help us. I'll give you a bit of a historical lesson. There was a man in Granada, Spain, back when the Moors ruled, and his name was Shmuel Hanagid. Shmuel Hanagid was a uh, spice merchant. He was a bit of a Kabbalist. He wrote poetry. He was an extremely humble person. Uh, his humility and his uh, poetry and his business sense caught the attention of the ruler of the city of Granada, the caliph. I don't remember the the name of the caliph, but he was the you know the the ruler of Granada. Uh, by this time, uh, most of the cities were city states in and of themselves. A lot of the power of the previous caliph had gone because he had passed away and so the city-states became little uh, places unto themselves even though they had a certain unification based on the rule of the Moors and Islamic law. Shmuel Hanagid caught the attention of the caliph of Grenada and he was appointed by the caliph to be his advisor. He became, I think, what's known as a vizier. And he was amazing, and for the most part, everyone loved him because he was fair and he was balanced and his advice was good, and he was the personal advisor of the caliph, and he, he did not give bad advice according to history. And everyone loved him for the most part. I'm sure there were some people who didn't like him. And I'm sure there were some people who were upset because he was Jewish. And so, uh, and yet he held a high position uh, next to the caliph. But he was not a Muslim. And that was technically for forbidden by Muslim law at the time. But what could they do? The caliph appointed him. And so that's that. And for the most part, like I said, people knew he gave wise advice and he was a good person and he was humble. That's very important. He was humble. He was not arrogant. One day he passes away and his son assumes the role of vizier. His son, Yosef, was not humble. He was a good businessman. He made pretty good decisions for the most part, but he was not humble. And according to history, this lack of humility, this arrogance led to people getting so upset that they killed him. And not only did they kill him, they killed many people in the community, the Jewish community of Grenada. Granada. I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly. It's Granada. They killed many people and it caused great pain for the Jewish people of Granada. Spain. And we know other places in history where arrogance was the downfall of not just the Jewish people but other people and, and religions and ways of thinking can be destroyed by arrogance. So let's not be arrogant guys. Let's be humble. Even as we're searching for truth and I'll tell you this, I used to think I knew something about truth and I can daven or I could daven. I guess I still can, but I could daven and I wore tzitzit and I had a yarmulke or a kippah, however you want to say it. And I was keeping kosher and I was miserable because I was arrogant because I thought I knew some truth or I thought I knew all truth. And I was wrong, and I was miserable, and my family was miserable. And Hashem had to take me through some difficult times, and right now is not an easy time either, but we've been through much more difficult times. 
And one of the things I learned, walk in humility, be humble. Don't beat yourself up. That's not the same thing. Humility is not self-loathing. Being humble is just saying, I know what I know, and I don't know what I don't know. And I have some truth, and I'm learning truth. And one of the truths I'm learning is, I don't really know much, so I'm going to keep learning. I'm going to keep searching. I'm going to search with humility. I'm going to keep becoming. See, this is a, it's an ongoing process, guys. Uh, this perfection thing is a myth. If we just walk in humility and say, I'm going to keep becoming the best Zev I can be. I'm going to keep becoming the best whoever I'm supposed to be for this time, for this existence, for this incarnation, for this Gilgul. We're not going to fail. If we walk in humility, we will not fail. But again, that doesn't mean beat yourself up because Hashem loves you more than you love yourself. So learn to love yourself with a good, healthy, humble love. Walk in truth. Walk in humble truth. Don't be arrogant, guys. Don't be arrogant. It hurts you. It hurts me. It hurts everyone. Be humble, guys. When you think you know an answer, give it with humility.